Hi, my name is Takia. I am the founder of an organization called Brown Girls Do Ballet. And my special guests today are my two kiddos. <laughs> Trip and Charlie. No, we didn't practice that at all. <laughs> and you're nervous? Okay, it's okay. So today, uh, aside from reading this amazing book, The Nutcracker in Harlem, I wanted to share a little bit about what I do uh, as the founder of Brown Girls Do Ballet. I started Brown Girls Do Ballet in 2012 as a personal photography project after this young lady told me she wanted to take ballet and I didn't know anything about it. And so what started as a photography project has now morphed into a full-fledged nonprofit where we provide resources to dancers of color. And so it is so appropriate that we are reading this version of uh, a Nutcracker story today called The Nutcracker in Harlem by T.E. McMorrow, illustrated by James Ransom. So let's get into it. It was snowing in Harlem on Christmas Eve. The party at Marie's house swirled with colors, gold and red and green. Mommy and Poppy were dancing. Miss Addie song and Uncle Cab, Miss, sorry, Miss Addie sang and Uncle Cab played the piano. Marie loved the sound of Christmas. Do you love the sound of Christmas? Yeah. I do too. Join in Marie, Uncle Cab called out. Marie looked down. She wished she could sing, but Marie was afraid she wasn't any good. Certainly not like Miss Addie or Uncle Cab. The song ended. It was time for gifts. Every year, Uncle Cab would give Marie a doll and Freddie some toy soldiers. They were carved from a magical wood, Uncle Cab always said. He handed Freddie his gift. And now for my Marie, said Uncle Cab. A nutcracker said Marie. A drummer boy nutcracker. Dum diddy dum dum, dum de dum played the nutcracker on his drum. Uncle Cab sang a tune to the beat of the little drum drummer. The room again filled with song. Everyone in the house was singing or dancing, everyone except for Marie. Miss Addie knelt to Marie. Will you sing with me, she asked. Marie shook her head. Maybe next time, Miss Addie said. Music lives inside everyone. You just have to let it out. After dinner, Marie took the nutcracker and a slice of sweet potato pie and sat by the Christmas tree. The lights were soft and twinkling. She lay down, closed her eyes, and fell asleep. Marie opened her eyes. The house had gone silent. Outside, it stopped snowing. A full moon glowed in the sky, and the living room was filled with a ghostly white light. A rustling sound came from the top of the tree where Mama had hung her favorite ornaments, the glass birds. It was almost as if the blue glass bird was moving. It was! The bird fluttered its wings and began to sing. Then the gold bird joined in, and the red one, and the green one too. Crash! The music stopped. Candy canes, a voice squealed. Marie turned. A mouse army, all in uniform, was marching towards the tree. A mouse general was leading them, his chest covered with shiny metals. Candy canes, he repeated. Marzipan and chocolate, charge! I want sweet potato pie, the general shouted. He ran, jumped, and knocked the nutcracker down. The drum fell to the ground. When the drumming stopped, so did the toy soldiers. The mouse army advanced again. Charge, the mouse general commanded. What could Marie do? She picked up the drum and put the strap over her neck. Dum diddy dum. The mouse army stopped, turned, and ran away. The general glared, but Marie kept drumming until he too fled. As the mice ran, they began to shrink, getting smaller and smaller. 
The toy soldiers chased the mice through a hole in the wall and into the snow outside. The glass bird sang as the soldiers returned. Marie joined the nutcracker in a dance. They swirled around and around. They seemed to be on a cloud. It started to snow, but it wasn't cold. Marie closed her eyes and began to sing. Marie, she opened her eyes. It was morning. Did I miss Christmas, Marie asked? Of course not, darling, Mama said. Under the tree were Marie, Marie's dolls, the nutcracker, and something else, a drum. She picked up the drumsticks. Dum diddy dum dum, dum de dum. Very good, said Uncle Cap. He began to sing a Christmas song. Mama and Poppy and Miss Addie all joined in, and so did Marie. And that is the end of our book. So in this story, A Nutcracker in Harlem, Marie thought she didn't have a gift. She didn't have the gift of music like everyone else in her family. But uh, in a dream, she discovered she actually did. What, what did her gift of music end up being? What could she play? Nutcracker. She, she could play the what? What went dum diddy dum dum dum? The, the, uh, uh, <laughs> the drum, right? The drum. And she joined in at the end and she sang as well. So. Thank you so much for joining us as we read our book, The Nutcracker in Harlem. Uh, if you are familiar with The Nutcracker and what it has to do with ballet, you understand why this is such a special book. Uh, and I did a little bit of research. This book was actually a kind of a take on The Nutcracker when merged with the Harlem Renaissance, so that's super special. Uh, I think that we may have some questions. If you had some, you can use the question feature that's on the live tab. And I'm going to take one second to turn the camera around so I can look and see if there are any questions. One second. Okay. Oh, I see a bunch of hellos. Hi, everyone. This is a really cute book. Hi, Allison. <laughs> Let's see. I think we have a question here. Ooh, someone asked, what other children's books do you love? Oh, my goodness. So I spent a long time, in, in fact, I'm still in uh, the classroom as an elementary school teacher, so I have lots of favorite books. Uh, I love Shel Silverstein books, the poems, the giving tree, um, those sorts of books. Uh, I love, for young readers, the Junie B. Jones series. Those are always a fun read. Mm, let's see. Let's let me ask my little people. Do you have a favorite book, Bud? Yeah. What's your favorite book? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's called. You can't think of one right now. Yeah. I know you love the Pete the Cat series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Do you have a favorite book? Um, I have the one off the top of my head right now. Um, Life As We Knew It. Ooh, Life As We Knew It. That's a good book. That's a good book. So uh, we have lots of favorite books. Reading is very important in our household. Someone says you're adorable. He just lost his first, is this his top two teeth? <laughs> so this is his first time showing anyone. <laughs> So if you are new here, let's see if we have any more questions. Can you give us, oh yes, okay, here we go. So the title of the book is called The Nutcracker in Harlem. It's by T.E. McMurrow and it's illustrated by James Ransom. And the photos are absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can open up to some of them. I know it's hard to see when we're far away. There's our main character, Marie. And I know the holidays are coming up, so some of you will be having some cool parties, right? It looks like her family likes to party. Hi, Alyssa. Let's see if we have any more questions. So again, my name is Takia. I'm the founder of Brown Girls Do Ballet. And if you aren't familiar, uh, I hope that you will get familiar. We are an amazing organization. I like to call us small, but scrappy and mighty. Uh, and what we do is we provide resources to dancers so that they can continue on with their training, which is why 
this a book like this is so special to us you can see some of our work or some of my work I said that like I didn't shoot it I'm a photographer <laughs> and I took the pictures behind me and we're actually in the brown girls office right now in little old Fort Worth Texas so you all got to travel to Texas today and read about Harlem <laughs> All right, well, if I don't have any more questions, I want to say thank you so much for having me today. I want to say thank you to, ooh, Brazil. Um, uh, thank you to Janie and Jack for allowing us to do this today. This is super special to us. It kind of helped take our mind off of all the things that are going on right now, so this was awesome. All right, well, we are going to end this live. It's called The Nutcracker in Harlem. Bye.